I'm Barbara Rimkunis, and this is your Exeter History Minute. Since we get a lot of questions about the Historical Society, we thought we'd use this episode to tell you about ourselves. The Exeter Historical Society was formed in 1928 by a group of local citizens interested in preserving our history. Over the years, the Historical Society has tackled some very big projects. In the 1930s, all of the early records of the town of Exeter were transcribed, typed, and indexed by our members. This has unlocked our early history and made research much, much easier. It was the Historical Society that tracked down and purchased the Wheelwright Deed of 1638. This is the document that details the exact beginning of our town. Before the Historic District was created in 1971, the Historical Society was involved in rescuing some of the older buildings in Exeter. The Sullivan Sleeper and Dudley Houses in the downtown are good examples. Now this particular area is protected by the Historic Di District Commission and the entire town is watched over by the Heritage Commission. This leaves us with the care, preservation, and dissemination of the town's historical record. Most of the documentation is kept in our archives. All these boxes contain our past. Getting this knowledge out to you is our mission. We're open three times a week, all year round. Our volunteers are ready to assist visitors with house research, or genealogy questions, or just odd bits of weird trivia. Although, I still haven't figured out how Dogtown Road got its name, so unless you know that, don't ask me. We hold talks and lectures every month from October through May. These are free and open to the public, although we don't refuse donations if you're so inspired. We work closely with the schools of SAU 16 and have workshops that are presented in both the Cooperative Middle School and Exeter High School. We also host research classes from Phillips Exeter Academy. Every spring, we hold the Nancy Carnegie Merrill Essay Contest, which is open to middle and high school students. In April, the winners are featured speakers at our annual Youth Night, which pulls together all sorts of history projects from the kids in our community. We're also a resource for the town of Exeter, and we've been consulted for a large number of projects, including the recent research that went into the feasibility study for removal of the Great Dam. The maps in our archives have been consulted by the town highway department on a number of occasions while work is being done on the roads. The building that we live in, this building, the old Exeter Public Library, is owned and maintained by the town, and the Historical Society rents it annually. We're thrilled to be here, and together the Historical Society and the town of Exeter keep this beautiful old place in good shape and put to good purpose. This is the only public support that we receive. The Exeter Historical Society is not funded by the town, and we're a private nonprofit organization. We're funded by membership dues and our annual fundraising appeal. Seriously, that's how we make our budget every single year. Our annual appeal is made every November and December. If you like what we do and value the history of the town of Exeter, please consider making a donation. Just go to our website www.exeterhistory.org and donate online. Also consider becoming a member of the Exeter Historical Society. You'll get a 10% discount in our store, advance notice of our programs, our annual historical calendar, and a chance to participate in preserving Exeter's rich history.